Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, for those of you who have been with me since day one, thank you so much for sticking by me. Um, I have had a rough time. Um, and those of you who are new here, thank you for subscribing. I would strongly suggest you going back to, if you're here just for like the gastric sleeve journey part of it, then go to my first video where I was talking about it as an option. Um, or if you're interested in the whole shebang, um, then go ahead and start at my, my thoughts on the ketogenic diet. <laughs> um, I have been through a weight loss journey for over two years now. And um, I've hit a lot of road bumps. And so today I'm going to specifically talk to you guys about what's been going on the last month and why I've only posted meal videos. So stay tuned. Okay, so where have I been the last month? <clears throat> Well, you haven't seen my face, and I apologize for that, um, but I really have not been in a good headspace for the last month. Um, I am still having issues with my esophagus, and um, I went into the emergency room a month ago on a Monday, and I went in because I, was, I had gone five days without being able to keep anything down. And I was 17 days constipated. Um, and that's with drinking Miralax and, and that kind of stuff. I didn't drink any of the magnesium citrate though because I didn't want, I don't want my body to be used to that. I want it to be able to produce bowel movements on its own. Um, but Apparently, I hadn't. I I was having issues getting food down because I was so constipated. It had nowhere to go, um, so I ended up just doing a cleanse myself um, with magnesium citrate and an enema, um, which that was an awkward experience. I've never done that before, but anyway, um, so I ended up getting the constipation issue figured out, but I still. I'm still having issues eating. Um, there's a few things that I've changed um, as far as what I thought I was doing well. I am now like magnifying what I was doing so that hopefully it is a lot better now. And it is a lot better now. Um, but I still believe that my hiatal hernia that I have in my esophagus is um, jacking with some stuff, but I'm not a doctor. Um, but my instincts have been right every time. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's get back to the story. Okay, so a month ago, I went into the emergency, right, with having issues here. And I was in the emergency room from 11.30 a.m. until 11.30 p.m. I had a bunch of blood work done. I had, they had me do a CT scan. Um, and at around... 10.30, my doctor came in, 10.30 p.m., my doctor came in and was like, so, we found a mass in your abdomen. I was like, okay, I'll just add that to the list. My mom, who's a double amputee, um, she has prosthetic legs, so she, was, she got up and she came over and she like held my hand and they were like, we believe you have cancer. I just sat back and I was like, you've gotta be kidding me. Wonderful. Okay, sorry for the change of scenery. It is the next day. Um, I was just completely floored by that information. Like. I had just lost my dad to cancer. My mom is still extremely beat up about that. And then to find out that her youngest daughter was having the same, you know, not the same, but a scare, okay? And plus this particular 
uh, mass that they found apparently had been there for years. Um, it apparently is the size of an orange. And then, and yesterday when I went to the doctor, um, they said that it was the size of a baseball, which is this, you know, similar in size to an orange. Um, so I have been going to a lot of doctor's appointments and uh, trying to figure out exactly what the next steps are. Um, so one thing that they did do is they did go ahead and do a biopsy of the mass that they found. And originally they said that this mass was not around any of my organs. It was just kind of freelancing and, and shouldn't cause any problems with, you know, any of my systems. And, um, then yesterday, when I went to the doctor's office, the doctor was actually like, so we believe that it could be encroaching on your reproductive system. Um, but the good news is it's benign, um, but they do want to get it out as soon as possible so that it doesn't have a, an opportunity to metastasize or to become cancerous. Um, so we are going to be removing it as soon as possible. A date has not been set yet. Um, we, I met with the doctor that was going to do the surgery yesterday, but then whenever they were reviewing all of my CT scans, they decided that it would be better if a gynecologist slash oncologist were to do the surgery um, because it is encroaching on my reproductive system. So now I get to deal with all of that, but thank God it's benign. Um, that was good news to hear. Um, I am happy about that, um, but I'm not happy that now they believe it's encroaching on my reproductive system. So like, what that means to me is I may not be able to have kids. And that really sucks. <laughs> I mean, I know adoption is, 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 is an option and, and I will never look past that. You know, if I end up not being able to have children, adoption will be what I do, but I just, just sucks. <laughs> Maybe not having little genetically Kristen's running around, but um, anyway, but, but I don't know that that's the case. Um, they believe that it's encroaching on my reproductive system and that could mean that it's just going to, um, they're going to have to remove, you know, one of my ovaries or it could be, um, messing with my fallopian tube or it could be messing with my uterus itself. So we will see. We will see what all that entails um, whenever I meet the uh, gynecologist and um, get a surgery date set and all that stuff. And I will keep you guys updated. It's just been, it's been a lot of information in a month to have to deal with. And I honestly did not know how to approach it with you guys. I contemplated not because it's not weight loss related, um, but it's my journey related. And yeah. I mean, just uh, t take it one thing at a time, you know, and right now it's just a mass, not affecting anything. That's what I'm guaranteed right now. And that's what I'm sticking with. It's benign and I can, 
move on from here and just keep going on my my weight loss journey you know and I yeah I've had some hiccups uh, but who doesn't uh, I just choose to put it out there um, so those of you that are interested in the surgery or interested in my life period um, are getting the information uh, everything that's going on um, so yeah so the next step is to meet with the surgeon that's actually going to be doing my surgery hear from him and I will let you guys know what we decide and what the next steps are. Also, just kind of a heads up, I um, am officially down to 223, and I was 320. So, now that's not with the help of surgery, like that's since day one. Um, since surgery, uh, my surgery weight was 284, and that was February 28th, 284, and, sorry, my phone rang. Um, so now I am down to 223. Yeah. Ah. So that's wonderful news. Um, yeah. Yay! So, it's not all bad news over here. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And, um, continue to watch the videos. In fact, go ahead and like and maybe even comment on a few of them. Like, kind of, you know, what 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 are you dealing with? You know, are, are you excited about your surgery? Do you have reservations? I would love to offer some type of solace or um, some type of advice. Um... On your journey yeah please like and subscribe to my channel I really appreciate it it helps me out and I will talk to you guys later bye